Hey everybody, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. I am here today with four more farmhouse Valentine decor using mostly items from Dollar Tree. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that bell to be notified of future uploads. For this first DIY, we're using three packages of these straw balls and one package of the wooden hearts found in the Valentine decor along with some yarn and paint. At first I was going to keep four of these the natural off-white color. I will eventually make two of them red and two of them pink. But for now I'm using acrylic paint on this plate and just trying to cover these straw balls with the red and pink paint. Spray painting would have been much faster, but I just did not feel like going out and buying spray paint when I already had acrylic paint on hand. So you'll see I'm trying to like get the paint on them by using the skewer. Then eventually here I'm going to get a paintbrush and kind of dab the paint all over these straw balls. So I did end up doing six of them in red and six of them in pink. Next I'm taking the package of five wooden hearts from the Valentine Crafts and giving them a coat of Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Next, I'm simply taking a yarn needle and I'm stringing the straw balls red, pink, pink, red, red, pink, pink, red, red, pink, pink, red, and so on. Once I get the balls all on the piece of yarn, I will space them out and create my garland. So I'm securing the straw balls in place just with a tiny dot of hot glue where the yarn is coming out of the right side. And then after every two balls, I am hot gluing one of the hearts to the yarn. So while I was creating this, I decided I would take these three galvanized hearts that I had from other projects and I'm going to glue them on the first, third, and fifth white hearts. This is one of the things I love most about DIYing is the ideas that come to you not beforehand when you're planning, but while you are actually creating. Next, I'm taking this jute twine from Dollar General and I'm just going to make a small jute bow for each of the hearts to cover up the hole there in the middle. And here's how the garland looks hanging from my fireplace. I absolutely love it. It's exactly the finishing touch I needed for my Valentine mantle. For this next DIY, I'm using a palette wood board, two colors of chalk paint, a heart craft, item from Dollar Tree and the Valentine Metal Words. This is a palette board that I bought made like this. However, in my past DIYs, I've often made something like this using the five gallon paint sticks from Walmart. So feel free to use whatever type of board you have on hand or can make with supplies that are easily found for you. I am giving this palette board a 
just messy cover of truffle chalk paint and then eventually I will sand it to give it a rustic farmhouse look. Next, I'm taking this Valentine Heart wood piece from Dollar Tree, and after removing the ribbon, I'm going to give it a coat of chalk paint in the color Crimson. Once that's dried all the way, I'm using my sanding sponge from Dollar Tree just to sand the edges a little bit and give it a rustic look. Then I'll take the sanding sponge to my board and again sand the edges a little bit to make it look a little more worn. Next, we'll hot glue the red heart to the center of our palette board. Then I wanted to add something to cover up the two holes at the top, so I'm going to take this nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue it around the inside of the heart. And finally, the last step is to choose one of these words. I just wanted to use the word love from this pack and gluing it to the bottom right hand corner of the sign. Here's the finished product. You'll also see I did add a little jute twine bow where the top of the rope heart is. For this third DIY, I'm using three of these large mouth glass jars, some burlap, some twine, some red stiff felt, some lace, and some paint. So I'm going to paint my three jars three different colors. First, I'm going to paint Waverly chalk paint white for my first jar. You can see I'm just using a foam brush and just doing a really messy cover because I want it to look rustic and farmhouse. Because I don't have any pink chalk paint right now, I am again taking some of my Waverly chalk paint in white and then I'm adding some pink acrylic paint to it to make a light pink chalk paint for my second jar.
And for my third jar, I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Crimson. Here I'm just using one of these smaller red hearts from a past DIY to trace around on this red stiff felt. I'm tracing them and then cutting them out. They did end up being slightly too large so I folded one of them in half and trimmed it a little smaller and then cut the other three a little bit smaller. But always look around and see what you have that you can trace and use as templates. And here I'm taking this burlap ribbon I had. It was six inches and I folded it and cut it in half long ways to make three inch strips. I am hot gluing a strip around the center of each of my jars. And you'll see here I lay them next to each other just so I can make sure that the ribbon will be at the same height on each of the three jars. Next, I wanted to add some lace to the center, but I didn't want this other burlap ribbon, so I'm just taking some scissors and removing the lace from the center of this burlap and lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. You can pretty much find this year round in the ribbon in the floral craft aisle. And I'm just going to dab a hot glue here, wrap it around the center, and glue it again on the other side. I'll do this for all three jars. Next, I'm going to take my three felt hearts that I cut out and glue that to the center of each jar front. And of course, for our farmhouse touch, I'm going to make a small jute twine bow for each of the hearts. While I'm finishing up these bows, let me just say thank you so much for watching. I have now hit 30,000 subscribers and will be doing a giveaway very soon. I also want to celebrate my first year on YouTube with that giveaway and tell you all what my goal is for my second year on YouTube. Again, I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and leave a comment below on which which of these four DIYs is your favorite? I felt like the top of each jar was pretty plain, so instead of wrapping it with jute twine like I did for my Christmas jars, I am going to just do one row of the nautical rope around the top of each jar. So here's my table centerpiece changed from the Christmas to Valentine's. You can see I kept the same lamb's ears and instead added baby's breath instead of the big red berries. I added the red and pink straw balls in with the pine cones. For the last DIY, we're using a can, one of the Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, some Jenga blocks, some floral foam, and some jute twine, and a vintage printable I found online, this berry garland, some burlap, and the red and white gingham ribbon from Dollar General. First thing I'm going to do is make four of these pairs of Jenga blocks, just hot gluing them together on the long side. Next, I'm going to paint two of these with the crimson chalk paint, and the other two I'm going to paint with an ivory chalk paint.
And I'm also going to give my can a messy one coat of the ivory chalk paint as well. Once that's dry, I'm going to take my printable I found online. You can just do a Google search of vintage Valentine printables. I'm going to use some of my Mod Podge from Dollar Tree and attach this to the front of my can. Next, I'm taking this felt sticker from Dollar Tree and just tracing the heart shape on one of the red blocks and one of the white blocks. Then I'm going to take my paint markers from Walmart, their Elmer's brand, and I'm going to color the white blocks heart red and the red blocks heart white. On these other two blocks, I'm going to use these very small sticker letters I still have from years ago with Creative Memories, and I'm going to write out I love you with the stickers. I did not have enough of the small white letters, which is why I'm using black on the red block, but I still love how these turned out. And once all the stickers are in place, I'm going to put a thin layer of Mod Podge over them just to make sure they don't peel off and seal in nicely. This is matte finish Mod Podge, but I am gonna go ahead and go around the sides of the blocks as well. Once all four of my blocks are dry, I'm taking a small loop of jute twine and hot gluing it to the back. I'm going to be making these into four small wooden ornaments for my Valentine tree. Now that my ornaments are made, I'm taking this foam block and hot gluing it into the bottom of my can. Then I'm taking one of the green Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. I ended up buying four of these this year and didn't use them for a DIY, so I was excited to make a Valentine tree for Valentine's. So I'm going to remove the bottom part and just poke it into the foam, remove it and add some hot glue so that it will be securely inside the foam and in the can. Next, I'm going to take some strips of burlap and just tuck them under the tree just to cover up that floral foam that's in the bottom and of course add to the farmhouse touch with this tree. Now I'm just taking the branches and kind of laying them out so it's not so squished from being in the box and just kind of fluff it. I like how sparse this tree is for what I'm going for with this look, but you can always make it fuller by adding some of the garland ties that you can sometimes find at Dollar Tree. 
Now I'm just taking some more strips and cutting some skinny, smaller strips of burlap. I'm going to tie them in a knot on some of the branches after I use some of this berry uh, garland that I also found at Christmas time at Dollar Tree. I just like how it brings in a little bit of the red in a rustic fashion. So here I'm just randomly tying burlap strips in knots around the tree, just creating as I go, however I see fit to space them out. And now that I have all my burlap knots, I'm going to take my four little ornaments that I made and hang them on the branches of my tree. And for the finishing touch with this project, I'm taking some of this red and white gingham ribbon that I found at Dollar General for a dollar, I'm pretty sure it was Dollar General, and just tying a simple bow and I'm going to hot glue it to the top of my tree. And here's how my finished Valentine tree looks. I absolutely love it and can't wait to add it to my Valentine decorations this year. Again, thanks so much for joining me today again on my channel, you guys. I'm just ecstatic with how my channel's done in this first year. January 26th will be my one-year anniversary of my first upload. And so keep looking towards the giveaway video that will be coming soon. Thanks so much. Bye.